Today we are going to be detectives and in the absence of a magnifying glass, because I don't have one, I'm going to use this mirror because it kind of looks like one, except, I mean, it's a mirror, but it kind of looks like a magnifying glass. So we are going to magnify all of the pictures of the new Canvas 3 that we have so far, do a little tour of the new Canvas 3 through pictures and chat a little bit about everything inside them because I am pumped but before we do that just to let you guys know i did just post a new vlog on my vlog channel look at this it's special and beautiful wow look at my vlog channel please do go and check it out subscribe to the channel click on the vlog leave a like send some love on it i do work really hard on those and edit them myself so it would mean a lot to me if you guys went and spent some love on it i've been really appreciated thank you so much okay let's start the video Woo! <laughs> wonderful little beans my name is me welcome back to my channel before we get started with today's video don't forget to leave a like subscribe and click that bell and of course you stack a b when buying robux or premium i am so excited you guys i'm ready to go royalty mode as you can see and get on into that new canvas 3 because it looks absolutely stunning but one thing i noticed is that we used to do these tour videos a while ago where we tore the new canvas through pictures talking about all the realms and all the things that we can see but the last time i did one was ages ago you guys and it was much much older screenshots it's the first time in ages we've actually had modern screenshots of campus 3 so we're going to look at some of the older ones some of the newer ones compare things and contrast them chat about some of the stuff and have the best little time ever one thing i can't wait to do you guys once campus 3 comes out is show you my inventory i can't show you inside my inventory in game right now because i have things in there that are secrets for the new campus 3 and i can't show you the new items but i just can't wait until campus 3 comes out and i can show you all of the items inside of my inventory i am so pumped for you to see them it's the first thing i'm gonna do i swear to god you guys as soon as it comes out i'm gonna stream and share those items so make sure you subscribe and click that bell so you get notified of that stream but let's go ahead and talk campus three right you guys this is gonna be so special i'm so excited and obviously much more important than visa don't forget that it, yeah okay Anyways, so we're going to head back to an older video just to look at some screenshots first. So first things first, we have this map that Barbie drew of what the new school was going to look like back in the day when she first designed it. We're going to skip through some older pictures here, you guys. So we obviously have those older lockers that we've seen before. We have, of course, some other screenshots of like the cheer room that Hart showed, some trophies, of course, the actual outside of the campus back in the day when Barbie first designed it. We obviously have this like archway, there's these big stars with different names on. The big gates of course the inside here you guys are one of like the classrooms that we think is the rainy day classroom it's like the hedges out the back as you guys know this really old picture of one of the areas this big old fountain with barbie sat in it we of course have the entrance to the dungeons some more dungeons some more dungeons this like room here with like the wall art this room <laughs> this room tons of hairstyles which i think some of those might have ended up coming out already we have of course like art rooms locker decorations classrooms bedrooms the intro cutscene so many things to look forward to banners you name it it is there but one of the things we need to think about you guys is the newer pictures so obviously we've seen all these amazing things for campus 3 so far in the past but we haven't talked much about these newer pictures that were shown throughout the intro for the trailer cutscene now the trailer obviously showcases a lot of really interesting stuff and i did like a little bit of an analyzing video where i drew on it a while ago but now that i'm finally back on my pc i wanted to talk a little bit about some of these the first picture I wanted to talk about, you guys, is this one here. The girl with holding butterflies. As you can see, she lands on her hand. You can see there's much more to this picture than just the girl holding the butterfly. There's actually a big table here, you guys, which is going to be something to do with the cafeteria, I assume. Maybe this staircase leads up to the doorway that goes into the cafeteria, potentially. Then we have these, like, potted plants inside the hanging baskets, too. And then there's this whole area off to the side that we can't see. I'm assuming this is the outdoor cafeteria area where you're going to be able to choose to eat if you want to. Too. most cafeterias in most schools have an indoor area and outdoor area especially if american tv is to be believed so obviously as you guys can see this looks like it's going to be some sort of outdoor sitting area now she's not wearing any new items you can see these are all previously available items in royal high but that doesn't make it not exciting because the whole area behind her of course is brand new as you can see here when it's slightly zoomed out when she's looking up you can see like an umbrella over here as well you guys i'm guessing some of these have like sun shading as well now when it comes to 
like the locker area, you guys. You can see there's multiple lockers in a row here. We've seen these before in previous screenshots. But one of the things I love about this is that we already can tell that these are going to be customizable. Now, some of the locker decorations we already know about, things that are already in game. But if you look closely here, there's some items we've never seen before. There's this makeup she's holding. There's also this diary and pen in the background, as you can see. There's some jewelry. I'm wondering if you're gonna be able to hang your jewelry that you can actually wear in game and maybe click on it to put it on. There's some like hanging plants, as you can see underneath this shelf, candles down there. Then you can see all these different potted plants and mirrors and stuff. I'm wondering if you can place each individual item one at a time inside the lockers, or maybe you have to place them all together, or maybe these are pre-existing lockers you can choose from. Who knows? I do, because I made this locker when I made the trailer. You don't, because I can't tell you yet, but once you find out, I promise, you're going to be very excited about it nonetheless. Then also, we've got these dorms here. Now, I did not make this dorm. Lawns did, but I was there while he did it, obviously, because I'm the one laid in the bed down here wearing the outfit that I'm wearing. And of course, here is Lawns dipping down with his little pillow in his hand. Obviously, as you guys can see here, the dorm rooms, they look like they're quite small with this, like, nook in the corner. But this looks like a wall here on the side or something. But if you look, it doesn't look flush to the wall. It doesn't look like it's part of this wall. So it looks like it's been placed there. I wonder what that could be and why it was placed there. Hmm. I wonder. One day I'll get to tell you, but I can't tell you right now. As you guys can see, there's all these fairy lights. There's a light switch there. And there's like this ladder to get up to the bed, which looks gorgeous. All these back walls are the pieces on like the sticky notes on the wall. Little fairy lights here, pillows and stuff that are clearly placed around in a scattered way. I wonder if that means you can place them yourself. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But this looks really, really cool as well. Now, I've seen a lot of people talking about this area with the stones or like the portals coming up. That's what people think it is. So as you can see, it's got each of the elements, which are all elemental badges we've seen previously as well now naturally i do know what this is and again many of you guys probably don't but regardless of what it is it looks really cool and i think that's the most important thing here i am so excited for you guys to get to all see like what all this is going to mean and what it's going to do because it is absolutely amazing and you guys have no idea for the things you have to look forward to it's just absolutely stunning as you can see the stones look absolutely amazing the glimmering lights i can't wait to get to see this stark contrast inside the new school from what we're used to in high which is bright beautiful colors this like dark gloomy gothic thing because a lot of you guys out there like to dress in the more emo -y, gothic -y style design in, in your OCs, but you don't really get to play royal high that way because all of it's really bright and bubbly like most of royal high is obviously really bright colors and exciting realms that are really pretty i think it's going to be nice to see some stuff that's darker and, and more dingy you know anyways this is so beautiful with these gorgeous trees with gorgeous textures there's so much more texture than the trees we have in royal high now beautiful beautiful grass by the way the grass is gorgeous i've got to compliment the grass and then of course what i think is my favorite area in all of campus three is this beautiful beautiful area here of the front of the school you see it says front office over there you guys the big fountain the fountain girl there's obviously the front in some way staircase fountain me sitting there reading my little book as you can see and then of course there's this window over here with the stars that we've seen before in leaks t on Lance's birthday last year this just looks amazing all the wall textures and things like that were all made by choker i'm just absolutely blown away you guys and i'm so excited for you to get to see this one of the things i'm most excited about is for you to get to see me in this showing you tough and telling you all the secrets I've, I've had to keep from you for so long but you guys it's going to be so exciting and i can't wait to show you it. i've actually recorded my first experience as you know already inside of the new school which i'll be releasing as soon as it releases so make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications because i think i'll be the first person to post a new school video since obviously i'll be releasing my experience in it first as soon as it releases i'm allowed to release it so i'm so excited obviously that'll be an older version it's a bit different now to when i first played it so obviously we've been working on it for a while but i'm so excited for you guys to get to see everything that's been worked on i've done too i'm just so pumped you guys everything in this is just so beautiful and they've done such an incredible job and i just can't wait for you to see it this is the last time that we will really tour it through pictures because obviously the next time you see it it will be actually out so i hope you guys are excited and ready for that and just so pumped for what is to come and i am just so happy that you guys are going to get to see it Thank you so very much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I love you all so much. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for being in my life and supporting me and making this dream come true. And everyone who came to my stream the other night, I appreciate it too trying to stream more often so thank you one thing i do want to say you guys is since i started taking a break from social media and not reading into like the nasty things people say and do on social media so much i feel so much more positive and my life is just so much better i can't encourage you guys enough to try and avoid social media i have an amazing set of moderators
writers and friends who are still sending me your guys' concepts and stuff like that so I can still make videos on them and see them without needing social media. So I'm so grateful. I'm thinking, you guys, how would you feel about me opening up a Google form for you to submit your concepts in and your ideas in and like pictures you want me to like share and tea and stuff you want to share so that I don't have to use social media? It would really help my mental health. So I was thinking about doing that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. I love you all lots and I'll see you all soon. Have a great day. Goodbye.